hello guys once again welcome back to digital perspective and in today's video i am going to show you how to create this adaptive table using auto layout in figma so let's quickly jump to figma here you can see i have already created the styles and few components which would be required for our table so before creating the table we have to create the boxes component first so like this we have already created like this we have to create the all table boxes so let me show you how to create these boxes first so i'm going to duplicate the heading text then i'll select the text and press shift a to auto layout and i will change horizontal padding 24 pixel vertical padding 16 pixel then i will add off white color i will select the color from here open after that, now I have to create the checkbox box. So I'll duplicate the heading box and then I'll duplicate the checkbox icon and I will put inside the frame and I will delete the heading text. Open. Now I will select the checkbox and heading box both. I will change height to 56 pixel. Perfect. Now I have to create this body box, status box, action button box, platform box. So before this, I will rename it to check box. And this would be heading. Perfect. Now we have to create this body box. So I'll duplicate the body text and press shift A and change horizontal padding 24 pixel, vertical padding 16 pixel and add white color. Perfect. Now I will change this box height to 80 pixel. Perfect. Now again, let me rename it first to body. Now again, duplicate it and rename it to status. Now I will duplicate my status label from component and I will put inside the frame. I will delete the body text. Then again duplicate the status box, rename it to action button, perfect. Then duplicate your action button from component, then put inside the frame and delete the active label, perfect. Now we have to create this box, so before creating this box, I will duplicate free pick logo from component, then I will take bold text. I will rename it to free pick. Perfect. Then I will duplicate the body text. I will change to free pick dot com. Perfect. Then select the both text and change vertical space to zero and left align it and press shift A to auto layout. Then select the text frame and logo and press shift a to auto layout and change the alignment to center left perfect then after that now duplicate the action button box and delete this button and add the free pick frame inside the action button frame and rename it to platform platforms perfect so now i'll first let me delete this Yes, perfect. Now here we have created the table boxes and I will align it properly. Then now we have to create it into the component set. So I'll go to components and create component set. Perfect. I will rename it to table boxes. Perfect. So here we have created the table boxes. Now we have to create the table using these components only. Only these components will be required for our whole table will be created. Now let's start creating table using this component. So first I'm going to duplicate heading and body box. Then I will select both the box and press shift A to auto layout. I will remove the vertical gap. Then I will select the frame and again I will press shift A to add auto layout. And again I will go to auto layout and I will remove horizontal gap and both the paddings. Perfect. Now I will select the first box, which is my heading. I will go to width and I will change hub content to fill container. 
same i'll do for my body box i will select the body box and i will change will be fill container perfect now i'll select the main frame and i will go to layer panel and i will select the second inner frame then i will press ctrl d to duplicate it now make sure you're duplicating it how many times columns you want i mean i want eight columns so i'm going to duplicate it eight times so here i have one two three four five six seven eight perfect so here i have duplicated it eight times and eight columns so this will going to be my checkbox column this will be my subscription id column this will be my platform column this will be my status column this will be my interval column this will be my activated date column this will be my expiry date column and last one will be my action button column so first our first column first box i will select and i will change change these two heading to checkbox same i'll do for my body i will select the body box i will go to property i will change the body to checkbox perfect now you can see there is an empty space to fix it i will select the second box and i will change its height fixed to fill container then i will select the first column and i will change its height fixed to fill container now it's fixed perfectly now i will change this heading to subscription ids perfect and i will write some random product code so like this and this will be my platforms perfect then i will select platform body and i will go to property i will change body to platforms perfect then this will going to be my status so i'll write status then i will select the status body i will change property to status and this would be my interval i will write monthly perfect and this is going to be my activated date perfect i will select april date april 04 2024 perfect now this will be my expiry date so expiry and may 04 2024 perfect now this last column would be my action button column so i'll rename it to action and then i will select the body i will change its property to action button perfect you will see it's done now i want 10 rows so here i already have created one row so i want 10 rows so i'll select these boxes one two three four five six seven eight now i'll press ctrl d to duplicate it 10 times 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 perfect so here you can see we are almost created the table now let's see it's adaptative or not so i'll select the frame i'll select the column it's not adaptative so press ctrl z now i will select the second frame because i don't want to res make response in this i just want these all column to response so I'll select the second column, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Perfect. Now I will change width hub content to fill container. Now select the main frame and let's see it's adaptative or not. Yeah, it's adaptative. Now I'm going to increase width. I think it's perfect. Yeah, here yeah, almost we have created now the table. Now we have to change the table content. So yes now i'm going to change platforms logo and content too so let's quickly do this so here i have changed the logo now i'm going to change the content so and the b So here you can see I have changed the logo and the content for the platform column but you can see the alignments are not proper so to fix it I'll just simply go to component set and I will select the components and then I will go to auto layout and I will change the center align to left align 
now the table you can see the whole table it's fixed now so now you can see the contents are cutting so i'll select the main frame and i will increase the table width perfect also you can change the table width or a column width one by one as you want you can increase the table uh, column like this or change this perfect yeah perfect now i'm fast forwarding the video to change the table content one by one Now you can see I have changed the table content. Now let's again see the table is adaptive or not. I mean responsive or not. So I'm going to select the frame and let's resize it. It's not working. So let's fix it. So control Z. Now select all the column one by one. Here I'm selecting all the columns. Then go to width and change to fill container. Perfect. Now let's see it's responsive or not select a table yeah it's responsive it's working properly now i'm going to reduce shemp up size it will auto automatically fixed and also i'm going to reduce interval width size perfect yeah let's see the table is responsive or not yeah is it responsive yeah perfect now one more thing we can do is we can add divider lines in the table so how we can do that just go to your component and select all the boxes and just go to properties and add stroke after that select this strokes per side and select bottom then i'm going to reduce the stroke size to 0.5 pixel and then i'll change color to gray perfect now you can see we have added the divider lines in the table now let's give the table title so i'm going to duplicate the title text here and i will change to manage subscription perfect now i will take this here now again I will add one leave all button so I'll duplicate this button here and then I'll select the text and the button both and align it properly then I will select the text I will adjust the margin I will give the margin 24 pixel from left and right both perfect then I'll select the text and the button then press shift A to auto layout and give parents 24 pixel and vertical padding would be 20 pixels perfect now i will add color white perfect now i will select table and the title and i will align it properly and instead then i will select the title uh, title frame and the table frame and then press shift a perfect now you can see I have added the title then I will change the button color perfect now I will round the corners 24 pixel 24 pixel I will smooth the corner 80 percent I will select this box and this box no this box I will round the corners 24 I will smooth the corners 80 percent then I will select this one I will round the corners 24 I will smooth the corners 80 percent perfect so here we have created our table guys 
hope you have enjoyed and be sure to hit like and subscribe button if you haven't and also hit the bell icon for more such like updates thank you so much meet you all in the next video